stain your taillights using VHT nightshades. Now this product is something you can get at your local auto parts store. You can also find it on VHT's website. A link to their website will be in the description below. You can also find it from other distributors. Um, now what I went ahead and did is I went to a junkyard. I have a 2000 Mustang taillight. And what I'm going to do for you guys today is I'm going to leave one section not tinted, one section medium tinted, and the other section very dark, which means multiple layers of nightshades. Now this product itself, um, again you can use this technique on a lot of different other type of lights on your car other than just your tail lights. So I'm going to show you this step. Also one thing I will note, there will be an additional video coming up later showing you how to clear coat it um, because you will see what the finish is like. If you don't like it, there is an option to clear coat it. So I'm going to say that now in the video there will probably be a link on this video so you can see how to uh, clear coat nightshades if you don't like the final product. So let's go ahead and begin. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Uh, first things first, as you can hear a fan in the background, I highly recommend this. Instead of inhaling the fumes, you have great ventilation while you're painting. So I have the tail light here. I taped off one end that I will not tape whatsoever. One side that I will go probably six to seven coats, which is really dark. This right here will probably add three to four coats to lightly tint it. Um, this way you can see the transition of different layers that you may like. Before you begin, of course, wipe it down with alcohol, thoroughly clean the tail light so it doesn't have any type of residue on it. So we're going to go ahead and begin. You want to add one thin first coat. And there's our first coat. So we're going to go ahead and let that dry 10 to 15 minutes before we add our second coat. Alright, here we're going to lay down our second coat. Again, keep it very light. And nice and even, nice strokes. And there we go. That's our second coat. So we'll go ahead and let that dry 10 to 15 minutes and we'll add our last coat. Alright, after the second coat, we're going to add our last coat. I'm only going to do three layers on this middle one, which is what I drive around with right now. And it gives it a nice tint, kind of gets rid of the, the, the brightness of it, but it isn't that dark to where you may get pulled over by the police. So I'm going to add my last coat. And again, nice even strokes. And there we go. That's our third coat. Now I'm going to let that dry probably about 30 minutes before I remove the tape. And then we're going to go ahead to this side and add about six layers. Alright, so here we are. As you can see, I've already taped off this side. This middle section was the part that I did three coats. This side, we're going to do six coats. And this is extremely dark. I don't recommend this on a daily driver. Um, I used to have it before on my Mustang and of course I used to get pulled over. So I don't recommend this but I'm going to do it just to show you how dark you can really go with this. And this is going to be six coats only on this section right here. And again in the background you can hear the fan, uh, just really good ventilation. So let's go ahead and lay down a basic coat. And there you go. So I'm going to let that dry 10 to 15 minutes and then move on to my second coat. All right. First coat's dry, I'm going to lay down my second coat. Good, even, nice, even strokes. And there we go. That's two coats. So we'll go ahead and let that dry 10 to 15 minutes. Alright, here we are on our third coat. And again, keep even strokes and always do the same way if you're doing the whole lens, of course. So we'll let that dry. Another 10 to 15 minutes. Here we are after the third coat. Um, I will say this at the end of the video, but a cool thing to do is there's my reverse light. Is you can always tape that off so the rest is dark except for the white light for your reverse. Uh, again, I'll say that at the end so everybody can hear. So we'll go on to our fourth coat. And we'll let that dry 10 to 15 minutes. All right, here's our fifth coat. And you can already see it's getting pretty, pretty, pretty dark. It's going to be really hard to tell with the camera, the lighting, but so that's our fifth coat. We're going to let that dry and then go on to our final coat. All right, here's our sixth coat. This will be our last coat for this side. And you can go any, you can go a lot more coats than this, but I'm just doing no coats, three coats, and six coats to sh show you the difference between the layers. So here's our final coat. Give it a little extra. And there you go. So I'm going to let that dry for about an hour and then I will show you the difference between them. So there you guys go. I showed you how to properly 
spray on VHT nightshades. And as you can see right here, um, this side I didn't paint at all. This side was three layers, this side was six. Now what I would recommend is three layers because it gives it a nice dark tint. Six layers is pretty dark. Uh, I used to have lights with six layers and I've been pulled over from before, so you're using it at your own risk, of course, but three, layer, three layers I recommend. Also, the difficult with six layers is the light that shines through. It, it, no matter what you do, unless you're using maybe LED bulbs, you might be able to pull through. Another cool thing to do is sometimes you can tape off your reverse light and keep it clear so that way you have reverse lights. But, um, as I mentioned before earlier, I will definitely make a video showing you guys that if it doesn't come out glossy, if it comes out a matte finish almost, I'm going to show you guys how to clear coat it, sand it, and make it look shiny again. That will be a completely separate video. As soon as that video is up, I will add the link. Um, but Nightshades, again, you can get it at any of your local auto parts stores or order it online. A link to their website will be in the description below. Also in the description below will be a link to our Facebook page where if you have any questions about what I did here, you can respond and I always, always answer your guys' questions. Or leave comments down below and I will respond to you guys. Definitely click that like button and if you're a new viewer, subscribe for new and future videos. Thanks for watching guys.